No, I did that. <laughs> Still don't know why I did that. Right, today was supposed to be all about cuckoos. But I've actually come back to the kingfishers again. The dead kingfisher pools, as Anthony Beatty says. Um, I don't know why. Well, I kind of wouldn't know why. It's thick fog. Well, it was thick fog when I set off. Now it's a bit misty and it's starting to rain, which is kind of, I don't know. What, we're kind of washing the fog away if that makes sense but it's still really misty um, but anyway I thought it'd be nice just to be at the side of the misty pools um, we shall see but yeah I'm going to give it a shot um, I'm going to this day up into two so I'm going to go do the have a look for the kingfishers again just this morning won't be for long because I've, I'm already, well it's quite early in the morning I don't do mornings so I'm already on to my third coffee which means that I won't be able to sit and hide very long <laughs> um, for numerous reasons. One, caffeine, and two, I'll be busting for a pee. I think I share too much sometimes. Anyway, uh, so we're going to go down into the woods, look for the fishers. Um, and then this afternoon we shall go up to the cuckoo spot and see what's going on. Okay, that's enough for now, bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, been on the pond for an hour, and other than um, a lovely male mandarin duck, when I just when I first arrived, sat by that coot's nest, um, and it swum away. It's disappeared now. I did get a couple of shots though, through the branches before I'd set up. So let's have a look at those now. But. Um, yeah, no sign of any kingfishers, no sign of any fish <laughs> in the water, no sign of nothing. Mrs. Coote's still on the nest, she built a nest up a little bit more since we were last here, but it looks like she's still incubating those eggs. Let's just stop talking. Right, I've been here for two and a half hours now, nothing's happened, um, so I think it's time to give up and uh, make a move. So, I've got another idea, see you in a bit. Right, before we head home, I'm just going to have a drive. Ten minutes up the road from here is, well it's all the dikes actually that probably feed these ponds. Um, there's a place where I used to go look for water voles. And also some kingfishers there. So I'm going to go quickly check it out. It's not exactly the right time of day now. It's going on. I think it's about 11am. Yeah, it's after 11. Um, yeah, so not the best time, but let's go have a look. Another one bites the dust. Lovely tranquil spot for um, water voles and a kingfisher and what was fields last time I visited is now going to be houses <laughs> I, don't, I don't know I don't know what to say 
we want bad enough that they built a bypass over it about 10 years ago. They're now building houses. <laughs> houses next to it. Right, let's come up with another idea. Right, idea number three. <laughs> this is turning into a depressing day. I've come back to my old local patch. My house is just across there. No, my old <laughs> my old house. house is just literally across the road there in those trees. So I went to me the old kingfisher spot and waited for a flyby but nothing so then I went to the nest site to check it and um, they've not used it for a, they didn't use it last year at all so I went to check it and no, no sign of them not in use um, so I really don't know what to do I'm just having a quick wander around this little pond I'm gonna I don't know just thought I'd come here and see if anything drops in see what's what's I don't know this place has changed so much I mean if you look at this look at this pond get a bit higher so you can see the water but if you look at this pond in 2002-2003 I were doing amphibian surveys on these ponds and they were they were just this is this was all bare well it just used to be bare colliery spoil really and you you know it won't be able to, you couldn't just walk around the edge of these ponds um, with my torch on a night and now you can't get anywhere near it it's just I don't know the beds are great a reed mace at least 20 25 foot and none of these trees were here there none of this willow all this willow cars just sprung up and then it's even worse when you get over that side it's just tons of birch trees but anyway Yorkshire Wildlife Trust have taken it on now this site and they are I've just I've just walked across it and they are actually um, they've snapped all the birch trees out but they are making a start at clearing it again but who knows <laughs> right, I haven't got any more ideas, we're going to have to stick with this one. I'm going to go back out to that path over there and we're going to try and... There's quite a lot of warblers around, I can hear... Um, I can hear black caps, I can hear reed warblers and white throats. I'll go see if we can uh, photograph some white. There's a load of white throat and the odd willow warbler and the odd black cap in this in these brambles and in all this brush. And they're remaining really quite elusive. You know, they're like the skulky little things. So I've not managed much. The best shot I've got so far is uh, probably this little willow warbler. And I zoom in. But I don't know if you can see it. It's not very sharp though. It was the best things. Best, well, it's the, only, it's the only shot I've managed to get so far. Uh, but it's been alright though. It's been an afternoon of firsts. In fact, these are probably the first white throats I've seen this year actually. But I've had my first hobby flyover. That's always good. Um, there was a, a turn, I think probably a common turn, um, calling out over on one of the ponds there. Never saw it, but it's around, and I've possibly had a cuckoo distant. I don't know, but if I have, that's way over there, which is where we're going this evening. So, subscribe and stay tuned for that. Um, but anyway, we we'll crack on a bit longer. Good to Joe. Joe's here. Don't work. Uh. 
Evening. Hello. What you got? Did you win that? Yeah, I just heard it. What is it? Jetty. Yeah. I've been down here this afternoon as well, looking for, well, just photographing warblers. Only I didn't manage to photograph any. Oh yeah, by the way, this, that, this can be the end of that video. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you somewhere.